Alright. Hey, what's up guys? It's G. What's up everybody? My name is Daisha, aka The Rap Girl. We kind of just wanted to take you through a little bit of, uh, you know, what went on behind the song. It's coming out on Friday. It's called Something New. I decided to have Daisha on the track. It's been a long time coming. We're super stoked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what inspired the song initially? It's inspired by a breakup that I had. And I actually wrote this, um, I guess, September of 2019. <laughs> and um, I was just fed up, honestly. I just wanted, you know, him to come out with me with something new. And that's what the hook came from. I needed, you know, I needed change. I needed um, something different than what we had before. I was fed up. Daisha, do you resonate with this song at all? Like, yeah, Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, my relationship uh, history has uh, been trash. So I definitely could relate with the idea of somebody when you know, when somebody come around with something new because you know, I I've, I've been waiting for something new myself, so <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's fine. So what inspired the production of the song? Really just influence was influenced by probably Aaliyah more than anything, just because I really am inspired by her aesthetic and her sound, her light melodies in general. So I just wanted to make something that highlighted with that. A real nineties vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did the song production evolve? I actually started writing this on a YouTube beat, which I always do, um, most of the time at least, to get inspiration. So I just typed in, I don't know, I probably typed in like R&B girl type beat, you know, some maybe 90s or something like that. And I wrote it, and it actually sounds completely different than how it started, which I'm happy about just because it ended up sounding like a G production, and it feels very, um, feels very me. I started recording this um, in January. And we kind of took a break because when I asked, I guess we'll go into this later. I'll go into this later. It just felt super incomplete at the time, but then we ended up having Daisha and it ended up working out. Why did you choose Daisha for this track? Okay, so first of all, Daisha's my, <laughs> Daisha's my girl. I've always loved. Period. 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 <laughs> Period. In the back seat. <laughs> I started a track a while ago. She came over and we smoked, ate food, kind of just vented to each other about some pretty stuff. Pretty much looked like this right now. It looked like much. this. I was with Jacob and I said, hey, I kind of want to get Daisha on for a remix. And he was like, why don't you just have her on for the original? So I actually hit her up and she was like, yeah, of course. My mom was super stoked because my mom <laughs> loves Daisha so much. We I love FaceTiming. Yeah. She's so nice. And my mom was like, well, I want to meet her. So uh, we FaceTimed her and... Daisha got to meet my mom for the first time, but she had just been finishing up the verse and everything, so um, it actually ended up being pretty perfect. I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to release it, honestly, but when she when she threw her verse on, and then Bernie and Talia actually were like, yo, that song's fire, Tay. All of them were like, yeah, you gotta put that out. And I was like, all right, let's take this to the next level. Let's, yeah. let's finish it out, let's get it mastered. Because we had talked about it, and then I didn't hear anything from you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I know she just ain't gonna let this song go to waste. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not mm -hmm. dope, so. It can be in my head sometimes, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to sounds mm -hmm. and production, or just hard on myself in general. Yeah. But it was nice to have that uh, verbal reassurance from my friends to put it out. Because yeah, if y'all didn't say anything, I probably would not have put this out. No. So. I would have called you. <laughs> yeah, Daisha would have been in my door you. like, bitch. I know, you got all the grannies and the moms. Like, they love you, Daisha. Mm -hmm. I really grandmas, moms, aunties. <laughs> you I just love, love them. I'm fine. Fine. Yeah. You know. You know. What do you guys think of each other's individual music styles? What do you think about me? Look, I'm going to put this popcorn down. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Oh, you got it. When I first met G, I, I really didn't know what kind of music you made. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you know, we're in Nashville and you don't meet a lot of people here specifically that have like your sound right but then when i when i met you and you you said you liked Aaliyah and like you were like really naming like people that i vibe with when i was little and i was like oh she got some mm. she got some some little some razzle dazzle to her okay <laughs> and i actually heard your voice and i immediately fell in love with your tone like it's very unique oh. it's very like authentic too like it doesn't seem like you're trying to be somebody you're not like right. you're this is you and this is in itself i, I, I love this stuff new daisha through i think megan started I think you did something with streaming promotions or something mm -hmm. a while ago. Mm -hmm. So this was a couple years ago. I first knew you listened to your stuff. And then Bully kept showing me your stuff. And I just had been following you for forever. And I acted like I wasn't. Like when I first, when mm -hmm. we first like met in person, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, I think I know who you are. So <laughs> there are some people, but I had already known. And then you and Talia did mm -hmm. your feature. Mm -hmm. And 
I mean, I've always thought that you're just different. I think you're really representing Nashville. Thank you. Oh, wow. And, um, <laughs> wow. And, uh, oh, that's the Colonel. <laughs> oh. But it really is an honor to have her on this track with me. And I feel like she really brings more of that empowerment on, um, especially because you're rapping, you're going crazy on it. It was the perfect touch. Um, so, what inspired the visuals for the cover art? Are you on with us now? They wanted to get those um, kind of like Spice World vibes going in that photo shoot just because it really does complement the song in that way. So um, Bernie and Talia actually helped put together, it's kind of like a Pinterest board. They styled the whole thing. Bernie did my hair and makeup, uh, creative directed and everything, and they really just killed it because I went in there not really knowing. I knew what I wanted, but it was easy for them to kind of throw their, throw their sauce on it. So that's where it comes from. Um, we wanted a plain backdrop just to make it simple, you know, a little bit dated. Ashurst killed the killed the photos. Um, yeah, yeah, she really killed it. I just have so much love for anything 90s, and I feel like a lot of people say that, but I truly mean that. I like, look forward to hearing more new music from you. Mm -hmm. um, I have a song called Domino's that should be coming out. It's not going to be coming out this year, but um, I have a song called Domino's that should be out in January or February. This is definitely kind of like a party song you can put on it's kind of it reminds me of broccoli you know the song the, yeah 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 broccoli but it's not one of my friends actually went through something that inspired me to write it so because i thought it was still yeah because you're going to do bloopers really at the end from, right Nisha? like you want to have like like little bloopers at the end oh right, sorry Deisha. Deisha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm around you. oh i do want to say one thing daisha does not know the lyrics to my song because Post they're guilty and you know it it's on this one i was probably high I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you could say when you spit to other ladies when you quit showing. When you spit to other ladies. But y'all. When you quit showing me love. But y'all, that's not the but song lyrics. Stop loving you. Oh, you want a home run? Am I a fool? Oh, you, oh, you gonna take the high note? Okay, I was like, cause I wasn't gonna take that note. You okay. stay, you stay on the. <clears throat> okay. If you wanna <laughs> come around. <laughs> nah, no, see now you sound good though. And I don't sound, sound good. Free. No. You just own it, Deja. No. Hearts. Is it? Basket. Oh. Thank no, you. it's Wait. a buggy. I call it a basket. It's a buggy. I've I never heard anyone say buggy. buggy. I know that in Cali, y'all say freeway. I... Yeah. And I'll say interstate. Yeah, interstate or highway. Or highway. Or highway. It sounded cooler. Because you guys say it. Like... Freeway, yeah. Yeah, freeway. Or like, we, we get on... The the, the, it's the 55, not 65. Yeah, what the fuck? It's like the 55, I the 65, I 24. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Oh. Wait, let me try to. Let me try to go like this and catch it. That's not gonna work. It ain't even go forward, <laughs> dog. Wait, the first thing I All right, check out the song. It's coming out on Friday. Well, it already came Something out. Something new. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, let me know what you think of the song. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching us. Check out the song, post it on all your platforms, Yay. tell everyone you know, because it's a banger. Yay. Peace. Something new.